Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Space Talk here on the Vocek Experience where idiots are still always us, always me, you know, always. Uh, but uh, but in this video, I wanted to uh, talk to you briefly about uh, what just happened, a history maker moment. Um, the successful launch of the Falcon 9 rocket carrying the crewed Dragon 2 into orbit and on its way to the International Space Station. That just happened uh, about an hour ago, and um, I thought I'd make a video uh, congratulating uh, NASA and SpaceX and all the crew and everything involved in getting this done. This is truly, truly something historic, especially since there hasn't been any human space flight from the United States since the space shuttle retired in 2011. So, uh, so it's been nine years since we've launched on American soil and, uh, we've done it successfully today. Uh, it was supposed to be on the 27th of May, uh, but th that launch was scrubbed. I didn't get a chance to do a video about that because of my w work schedule with my other jobs and everything. But, uh, luckily I was, uh, off today and I was able to tune into NASA TV and watch it live. And let me tell you, I was excited. I mean, as it was counting down and, and then like, wasn't sure about the weather there first. And I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have to do this. We have to do this. Come on. And then the weather cleared up and it, the countdown kept going. And then of course, as it started counting down from, you know, 10, nine, eight. I was like, like, I felt like I was a little kid again, getting all excited about something and, you know, getting all nervous because you don't know what's going to happen and all that stuff. And my dog was just like looking at me like, you're crazy. You are crazy. You're getting excited over some weird thing going on on TV. And I'm like, you're darn right. I'm getting excited because I was excited. I'm still excited. And it's been over an hour since the successful launch. And I am still excited uh, because they're doing their maneuvers and getting ready for tomorrow's docking at the International Space Station. Um, now, as I said in the first video of this series that uh, I have been an avid uh, space fan for as long as I can remember, forever. And I remember watching space shuttles going up, and I remember watching the space shuttle Challenger uh, explode on live TV. I was only about six years old, but I remember watching it. And, uh, and of course, I remember when Columbia, when that disaster happened, and they burned up and disintegrated coming back after their successful mission uh, into space. But... Um, but this was just really exciting because I also remember, too, watching the final shuttle launch. I remember watching that live and watching it come back, uh, landing after its successful final mission. And then just feeling like, okay, now what? Now what do we do? I mean, space shuttle is retiring and, hmm, you know. So it's been nine years since then, and I'm just excited that... Uh, the United States is back in the the space game as in sending uh, American astronauts to space on an American uh, rocket. So, so that's, you know, and kudos to Elon Musk and SpaceX for, you know, having the vision to do this. And I, like I said, I am just so, so excited. Uh, so excited, in fact, that I want to share with you uh, the launch of the Falcon 9 and the Dragon 2 uh, rocket today. So uh, if you missed it, Seven, here you go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, spot and dog. America has launched. And so rises Copy. a new wow. era of American space flight, and with it the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. 
flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go! Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're one through bravo. Max Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is gonna be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Copy two Alpha. M back ignition. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. Stage two propulsion is nominal which will cut off at SECO, or second engine cut off, at about 8 minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over 5 minutes to go still on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good, though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. All right, there you go. There was the launch of uh, the Falcon 9 and the Dragon 2 uh, rocket up into uh, into space and into history. Uh, so uh, if you've watched that for the first time, I hope you got as excited as I am. And, uh, and if you're seeing it again, I hope you're still excited about that because what an amazing historic occasion today. Today. So anyways, um, that's going to about do it for this video. I just wanted to share my excitement and enthusiasm for this and, uh, and to say congratulations again to the people at NASA and the people at SpaceX, of course, the astronauts and, you, you know, everybody involved. And, uh, and of course, I will hopefully continue making more Space Talk videos um, as, you know, time goes on here. Uh, just between the first video and this video it's just been kind of hectic for me with my work schedule but hopefully uh we'll figure that out and start getting some more videos here for you for space talk but um but until then if you like this video don't forget to give me a subscribe and a thumbs up and also don't forget to comment down below with uh anything you want to share and uh and if you want to follow me on instagram the link for that is down below and of course, if you also want to follow me on Twitter, the link for that is there as well, down below. So, um, and of course, with this pandemic going on with the COVID-19, please, please, please stay safe. Uh, you know, keep going with the guidelines uh, set out by the CDC. And I will see you all in the next video. Uh, bye for now.